Hello and welcome to another Wobbly Camera Guide video. In today's video we're going to be utilising HipFilm Express to create a short accelerated part of a video. Um, it may be that the fact you created a, a YouTube video, um, perhaps as a demonstration part in that you want to accelerate but still show the audience how to do things or perhaps you're making a comedy video and as part of that you want to accelerate to enhance the comedy effect. Anyway, whatever you actually sort of want to do, um, this is relatively straightforward in HitFilm Express. So quickly sort of take you through that. First of all, we want to import the video that you want to apply the acceleration part to. In this case, I've got one called Demo4. So I'll just open that up, as it inserts. Um, as you can see here, this is an old vintage radio. I'm into vintage radios. And if you check on my channel, there's several reviews and repairs of radios there, if that's something that uh, perhaps you're interested in. So I'm assuming you're familiar with HitFilm Express to a certain extent in terms of how to actually sort of drag in um, the video to the main area that we're going to work on, which is this area here. If you go to the top right, if you click on Viewer, you'll then see the video that we're actually sort of uh, going to make some modifications to. And I actually just move that up because I haven't created at the start. That's one thing to always just check that you're actually sort of got the video at the zero sort of timeline. Um, as you can see, it's quite a longish sort of um, video. What I'm going to do is just randomly just check or sort of click sort of two parts that I actually sort of um, want to accelerate. So for example, um, we want to go through the video. Uh, let's bring it towards the start of it. This is basically like a bit of a clean video, so you're not going to want to watch me sort of scrubbing the dirt off a radio, will you? So, for example, say, say 15 seconds into this video, we actually want to accelerate the part. So, I've put the cursor on the 15 second bar, click on the eraser, which is the cutting or splicing sort of tool. Again, I'm assuming you're familiar with this, but I'll take you through anyway. So as you can see now, we've actually spliced that video. So that's an actual sort of section of video now that is going to be affected by the um, speed that we're going to do. Click back onto the main sort of cursor, just one easy to do. Come across to another part of the video. I'm familiar with this video, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna say, okay, we're gonna create, or we're gonna put the cursor at one minute 45 seconds there. Obviously, you know your video, you know where and when you want to actually sort of um, start and stop the acceleration part. So we're going to erase the byte symbol again, splice it, pick the cursor back up, and now what we have is the section of video. If I can grab that bar, so you can see the splice on the first part, and you can see the splice on the second part. Now, then, here comes the fun bit. If we then put your cursor over the video section, if you then right click, you'll see this menu come up. If you go towards the top, you've got part of the actual selection is speed and duration. Click that and you'll see the speed is highlighted at 100%. So in other words, it's playing at a speed of real time. If we now want to accelerate that, and perhaps you want to do it, you could do it twice as fast by making it 200%. You could make it um, I don't know, it takes 10 times as fast, so we'll make it a thousand percent. You can type in the, the actual sort of amount that you want, or you can actually utilize the curtail hours there to get, make it a little bit more precision. So I'm going to say we're going to accelerate it at 1000 percent. So you click OK, and now you will see the section of your video that's got sort of chevron marks in it. And what that is, is by applying the 10 times sort of speed your video is reduced by a certain amount of time because obviously it, it no longer sort of plays a full um, set as if you were doing like sort of a normal sort of play video. So what we do, pick up our splicing symbol again, put it over the area that we're now no longer going to need, pick up the little cursor, right click, go into remove and we've now removed that section of video. I'll just magnify this back up a bit, make it a little bit easier. So you can see that's the start of our video there. We've got our accelerated part. This is the time that we've no longer required because we've accelerated that tens times. And then all we need to do, push that across, and then that makes then our overall sort of video. So what it also does, um, when you do the acceleration, it accelerates also the audio. So be careful of that. I mean, if you want to use that for sort of comedy effect, then that's great. 
If not, then what you need to do is, this is the way I do it, and there's several ways of doing it. If you lock the video part of it, but do a right click on the audio part of it, if you simply select remove, when it plays through, the actual sort of accelerated part, you wouldn't get any sort of sound. Um, equally, you could insert maybe some music, some, some accelerated music, so if you're doing, again doing your comedy scene, um, all the things just to sort of um, fill in that audio gap. I'm happy with just accelerating with, with the, the, the um, sound, so I'll leave it as it is. So I'll just put that back in, unclick that. So that now is our actual sort of video. So what I'm going to do now is click export and I'll export it to a demo section on my um, PC, hit save. And you'll now see this actually exporting. So we'll wait till that goes all the way through and then I'll just quickly show you how the actual video has come out. So here we are. This is the completed video that we exported out of HitFilm Express. I'm now going to hit sort of play. Um, you can probably hear me in the background now. I'll keep the volume down so you can actually hear me. So this is the standard sort of uh, speed part of the video. This is me just applying some farm cleaner to a particularly dirty radio. that has been my garage for years and years and years. And then you'll see that now we're accelerating. So that's 10 times speed. Um, you see, and I wish we could all clean this quickly because we'll have a lot more time on our hands, wouldn't we? But it gives you a demonstration of how it actually sort of comes out. So you can do all sorts of speeds that you want to, to do. You could have just twice as fast, you could four times as fast. And then we're back down to the actual normal sort of level. Um, so I'm just gonna stop that there now and we'll come back to, uh, back onto hit fill if I can, here we go. Um, and there you have it. So that's an easy way to accelerate part of a video or as I mentioned before, you can actually decelerate it. So if you particularly want to do like a slow-mo part of a video, maybe you're at an outdoor event and you, you're watching a race and it's, it's a, a very close finish, you could actually slow it right down so you could actually just see the results of uh, maybe somebody just crossing that finish line ahead of just somebody else. There's a thousand and one things you can do with it. Um, HitFilm is uh, an excellent sort of um, program to use for video editing and putting sort of various effects on etc. So there we go. I thought it, you might be interested in uh, just having a look at uh, doing this type of effects. Um, Please, by all means, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, I'll try to publish a video once a week. Uh, it's on all sorts of subjects. Sometimes it's food, sometimes it's things like this. Sometimes it's on my old radios, there's all sorts of things. So pop along, have a look, and if you like, please give me a thumbs up as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon.